Hey everyone, it's Cheryl Ann. I'm gonna go ahead and do a new tutorial for you. I'm so happy about this one. This, I'm gonna get into a little spiel here. This purchase is probably gonna surprise um, some of you. This is the Moose Direct Minerals Pressed Blusher. Yes, blusher. Now, those of you who know me, um, and if you've seen my other tutorials, you know that I have pretty bad rosacea. That is the worst, but it can be pretty um, red on my nose, on my chin, under my chin, on my cheeks. Right now, you um, can't see it at all because I have the um, Skin Perfecting Concealer and the Pressed, um, uh, pressed Foundation. Sorry. <laughs> and I have completely taken that redness out. Now, it's not so bad, except it washes out my face and I almost look like a ghost. You know, I have fair skin to begin with, so it's not like I'm using the wrong color foundation or anything like that. I'm organza, if any of you are curious. Um, but I always thought I'm never gonna use blush. You know, why would I use blush? It's, my cheeks are red, I don't like that. You know, I'm trying to hide it, but again, I'm white as a ghost. But what I did like and what in the summer, which is, this is so wrong and I really shouldn't even be confessing this to you guys, in the summertime, I would actually purposefully go out and get sunburnt on my face because that actually blended out my rosacea and it just gave me a very rosy look. And I love that look, but obviously the sun is horrible for your skin. You know, and especially me being fair skinned, I mean, getting burnt is the worst. So I'm not doing that anymore. I am buying blusher. So I have this blusher and this is sophisticated. Now this color is different <laughs> than um, the colors we have. It might be a little difficult to see. This is like a coral color where the other blusher we have, some are pink, some are a little mauve. This is coral. This is the only coral color we have. And I did that because that mimics the sunburnt look that I want. It's not, I don't want to scare you and say, oh, you look sunburnt when you use this. But it gives you that sun-kissed glow. Um, whereas bronzer, you would get more of a brownish. This gives you more of that slightly burnt look. And I know it sounds weird and you might say, oh, I don't want that. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this stuff is very concentrated. This is pressed blush. Um, this will last you quite a while. So you don't want to go swirling your brush in there and putting it on. And first of all, make sure your brush is clean before you do this because you don't want any residue on there. So what I do is literally I take a blusher brush and I just kind of stab at it. And you can see how much is already on there. Just one quick stab. And then this is too much. <laughs> So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you can either tap it off, you know, just take the end and tap it. Or what I do is I blow on it. I mean a nice, firm stream of air coming out. Almost to where, I know it doesn't look like it's almost off, but or it's like that. So you can go to the apples of your cheeks, which are right here. When you smile, you can see them. But when you stop smiling, they drop. So what I like to do is just where the sun would hit me or where you would highlight if you're a contour and highlighting kind of person. And for me, that's right here. So I just take it and swoosh it back. Just like that. And then I put a little bit on my nose because again, that's where it go. Again, one quick dip. I'm just gonna blow it mostly off. Come to the other side. You can easily align it and swoosh it back. Now, you might look at me like, oh dear, she looks like a clown. Like I said, this stuff is highly concentrated, but it's no problem. What you're gonna wanna do is get, make sure your brush is completely clean, just kind of um, wipe it off on a paper towel. And then you're just gonna wanna come back in here and you wanna blend it out. So you wanna go to the top part of the color, that side there, and you wanna blend it. And you just blend it until you're happy with it. I blend it down a little bit just to get that cheek there. Now if you blend it too much and you take more product off than you think, no big deal. Just go back in there, dab it, and put it back on. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll just get 
a little too blend happy. Um, and then I come in with my finger because I have a little more control than the brush. And I just, you know, go in a circular motion, a swiping motion, and I just bring it down. And as you can start seeing, it looks like I've got that sun kiss, sun, slightly sunburnt look. It's not like red lobster, not red lobster, a red lobster, <laughs> you know, kind of look. But it gives a nice, to me, it's like a nice glow. And you just want to make sure you blend it out. Now, some people are like, oh my gosh, you know, you have rosacea. Why are you using this? Well, this is a beautifully blended um, tone, whereas my rosacea, it's splotchy, it's veiny, it looks pretty gross. Now, you could even go so far as to put a little on your chin, because this is where the sun would hit you if you, you know, I have bangs, but if you have a bare forehead, put a little bit on your forehead, and that'll just add to the effect. Um, but me, I like to go for drama. I like to have this on. To me, this looks fine. It might be a little bit much to you, and that's fine. This is not a color for the faint of heart. <laughs> this is not a color for somebody who just wants a very light coverage, a very, you know, ba you know, pale pink, just a slight, no, this is if you want some serious blush going on. So again, you can see when I smile, it hits right above my cheekbone, a little bit on the nose. I love this look. To me, this is awesome. I actually cried when I first used this because I was like, oh my gosh, I actually have red cheeks that look great and not splotchy. Like you, you guys don't even know. If you don't have rosacea, you wouldn't understand. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do, you know, during the day, take this with you. If a little bit, you know, comes off from whatever you're doing, you know, just put a little bit back on. You can even put it on with your fingers, you know, just maybe a quick swipe and then blend it if you don't want to take a brush with you. And it goes on great that way as well. So just to give you guys a look again. I have that, and just in case you were wondering, I have sappy lip stain on with Love Sick Lip Gloss. I have um, our mineral um, powder eyeshadow. I have it in Glamorous, which is the purple, and then Curious, which is the lighter color. Um, just in case you were wondering, and I do have my 3D fiber lashes on, oh yeah. And again, I have um, the Glorious Face and Eye Primer. I have the Skin Correcting Concealer, or Skin Perfecting Concealer, and the Pressed Powder um, Foundation on. Just so you know everything that I'm wearing. Um, but if you have any questions about this tutorial, about any of the products, please, please drop me a message. I have all my inf information listed below. <laughs> so you can contact me. Please friend me on Facebook. I would love to be your Facebook buddy. And also, I do free beauty consultations and color matches. So we can go ahead and find the right products for you, the right colors for you. Um, this color I love for me, it might not be the right one for you and that's okay, but I'd love to color match you and get you the correct products. I will never pressure you into buying anything. I'm not doing this to say, okay, you got like this, we have to buy it for you. You need to buy this now. You know, no, it's no pressure at all. If you want, great. If not, hey, at least you have the knowledge of the colors that are gonna work for you. So I hope you found this tutorial for helpful for you, and I look forward to doing my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.